In this video, I'm gonna learn Mike Boyd's top three most popular skills on his YouTube channel. But first, who is Mike Boyd? Mike Boyd is a very popular YouTuber who five years ago started documenting his journey of learning new skills as fast as possible. From solving the Rubik's Cube blindfolded <laughs> to ripping a phone book in half. It works. <laughs> this man proves that with a bit of patience, practice and perseverance, you will be amazed at just how little time is actually required for you to pick it up. So I've picked his top three skills, which is dice stacking, drawing a dotted line on a chalkboard, and breaking a wine glass with your voice. I'm gonna take everything that he's learnt and see if I can do the same. Let's see how we go. Now Mike recommends using casino dice, which are apparently easier to use than the small standard dice. However, I don't really want to wait for shipping, so I reckon we're just gonna grab them. Oh, perfect. Dice stacking is the art of picking up multiple dice using a singular plastic cup and then stacking each one on top of each other. So the goal for this challenge is to stack a set of five dice on top of another set of five dice. In the words of the great man himself, this, this is dare one, one out of zero. zero. <laughs> Sorry, I'm not, I'm not gonna do the accent. <laughs> oh, that was pretty easy. Whoa! Three. Woo! Okay. So the trick is you want to pick them up with a bit of speed. Then you want to slow down the movement a bit. They become nice and stacked in the cup. And voila, the perfect stack. Wow, that took me like 400 goes to get. <laughs> After a little while, I became quite consistent at stacking one set of dice. Now we need to get two of these and stack them on top of each other. However, stacking two sets was proving to be near impossible. I have a feeling this is gonna be really hard. How do you do it? So after watching and re-watching Mike Boyd's video, with still no positive progress, <laughs> oh, I've got a long way to go. I called in the cavalry, being mum and dad, to help me work it out. This is gonna be a fun afternoon. <laughs> and it seemed like my when dad my was baby, having fun. When my baby smiles with me, I go to Rio. <laughs> what we discovered was there was a problem with the size of the cup and the amount of dice that would stack properly in it. Yeah. This, is, this is gonna be a problem. <laughs> Maybe I can reverse engineer this because I couldn't find a single plastic cup the right size and this is proving to be too big. So what if I did a stack of six on top of a stack of four? This is big brain time, right here. It doesn't really work, but we might be onto something here. Hour after hour passed, and I was trying the smallest changes in movements to see what would work and what wouldn't. But nothing really seemed to be working. This has probably got to be one of the most frustrating things I've ever done in my life. And I was getting very close to giving up. But then, this happened. Oh. 
Oh god, thank god. Now to prove that it wasn't a fluke, we gotta do it twice. I realised the trick was in the angle and gentle sideways swaying of the cup that perfectly aligned the dice for a successful stack. But it took a lot of practice. On to the next skill. Mutt decided to learn this skill because of a guy named Walter Lewin, an MIT physicist and chalkboard wizard. With incredible precision, he could draw dotted lines on a chalkboard to help illustrate problems and engage the audience. However, I really, really hate chalk on a chalkboard. It just gives me that shiver down my spine, but for the sake of this skill, we're gonna overcome that. Oh, what a champion. So this is skill two, day one. I'll just do it all. <laughs> Sorry, I won't do the accent again. Okay, so we're just gonna try intuitively. That was close. <laughs> well, that was easy. <laughs> you basically, you need to be holding the chalk on an angle and then you can vary your grip and pressure against the chalkboard. A bit more pressure and you'll have a much smaller line and then a bit less, you'll have a bigger dotted line. It took me longer than actually learning the skills. So, uh, yeah, please subscribe. Oh, all right, this is the final challenge and the one that I'm actually most excited to try. So for this challenge, I needed to buy crystal wine glasses. Why? Well, crystal glasses are thinner and more brittle, therefore more likely to break. However, they are expensive. But after a bit of Googling, I found a set that wouldn't completely break the bank. So according to Mike, you need to be able to sing at the same frequency that the glass naturally vibrates at. So I'm going to put on some protective equipment. Let's do it. This is day one, hour zero. Hmm, doesn't look like it's really working. Can't be good for you, boys. It worked! <laughs> Holy sh! That was terrifying, and that has just gone absolutely everywhere. <laughs> that was so cool. I don't really want to do this again because that was really scary but it can't be a fluke. However, unfortunately, over the next four days of attempts, I was not getting any closer to repeating the skill, and my voice was getting progressively worse over time. <laughs> uh, okay, I don't know if you can hear my voice, but it's dying. I can feel it doing significant damage to them, so I'm just gonna call it quits there. But I gave it a red hot crack, and thank you so much for watching, everyone. Please don't forget to like and subscribe. And I'll see you in the next video.